Good day everyone. Join me today in this awesome video tutorial. Here are six Father's Day gift ideas. First project, I decided to make a cake that looked old and vintage. First step, dry dust the entire cake with antique champagne police and blaster. I used the Constellation Mesh Stencil for the background on this cake. Pin it in place and then use some royal icing and scraper to stencil on the cake. Pull off the stencil and wash before using it on the other side. Repeat the process. I used more royal icing to stick my ribbon to the bottom as well as the top of my cake. Roll out some white fondant and then use these awesome vintage mesh stencils with more royal icing. Now you have some vintage cars and a bike. I used a ruler and knife to cut out my stenciled cars and bike. Remove the excess fondant and save it for later. I glued the two car stencil impressions to the cake, placing them side by side. I left the bike impression to use as a cake topper. Do some skewers to the back and then roll out more fondant to cover these up. Let the topper harden overnight. The next day, I made pilot holes in the top of the cake and then simply placed my cake topper in place. You can decorate even further. I decided to make a second Father's Day cake, this time making it more modern and sophisticated. Roll out some white fondant. I then used my ruler and a knife to cut out a triangle which would form the front of my suit cake. I also cut a strip to put buttony on later. Glue your button strip down onto the triangle by wetting the fondant with water. I use my ruler to create some lines on the shirt going down vertically. Roll out more fondant and use a piping tip to cut out round little buttons. Use a smalling piping tip to make the rim of the button and use the back of a needle head to make four buttonholes. I wet the back of my shirt front with water and placed it on my cake that has already been covered in a cream coloured fondant. I cut a rectangle out of fondant which I used to form a bow tie. I placed this on a board to harden and firm up overnight. Use the same cream coloured fondant that the cake is covered with and roll it out. Cut out two suit lapels from the fondant. Stick these to your cake by wetting the fondant once again.
and I use my ruler to make Indians to give them some definition. I dry brush the cake using a combination of satin white and antique champagne. I then use this ready-made industrial works edible lace and cut them to size. Glue them to the suit and repeat the process for the other side. The next day I dusted my bow tie and buttons with rose gold metallics to give them a good and shiny look. I attached my bow tie and stuck down the buttons and my cake was finished. The next project I decided on was making some sugar cookies with stencils on for dad. I made cookie dough and then rolled the dough out to the right thickness. I used an oval cutter and cut out as many cookies as possible before placing them in the oven to bake. I rolled out some white fondant and I stenciled on the fondant with my mesh stencils and black wool icing. I used the same cutter as before to cut the fondant to size. Once the cookies are baked, wait for them to cool and then cover them with royal icing so they are sticky. Then place your stenciled fondant work on top. Repeat the process for all your cookies. Then I decided to make some craft projects for Father's Day as well. The first crafty project was to take some old jars and upcycle them. I painted my jars with the blue thunder chalk paint from Kalki Craft and let them dry, then paint a second and third layer. I used Dalmar chalk paint to create an accent on my jars, fading the colour from the bottom up. Once that was dry, I sanded the jars to give them a weathered and old look. Place your mesh stencil onto the jar and stencil using a lighter paint colour so it stands out. 
I chose a different stencil design for my second jar. Let the paint dry and then seal over everything using Fermi Seal. I sealed my jars twice. Now you can fill them with all sorts of goodness and yumminess for dad. Next project, a tie hanger. I found an old piece of plank and painted it with blue thunder chalk paint. You can leave this to dry or speed up the process by drying it with a hair dryer or heat gun. Paint a second layer and dry it again. I then used Dalmot chalk paint to accent the blue from the sides and rubbed off some in the middle to expose the blue. Dry this paint and then sand your plank to give it a vintage old vibe. I used the mesh stencil to give this an awesome design and dried this layer as well. I painted the final layer of furnace steel and then screwed some hooks into the bottom of the board. I cut a dowel stick to size and now it's perfect for hanging ties on. Last Father's Day project. Make some awesome t-shirts. Start by placing your t-shirt flat on the surface and then place some sandpaper in between the two layers of the shirt. This ensures the t-shirt stays in place when stenciling. Place your stencil and then use your scraper and some relief paint to create an awesome picture on the shirt. I wiped off where I made a mess with a wet cloth. Use a heat gun or hair dryer and blow over the wet paint. It will puff up creating such a cool texture on the t-shirts. Repeat this entire process for more t-shirts. Thank you for watching this awesome tutorial video with me. I can't wait to see you next time.